Welcome, welcome. Come on into a word of encouragement. Wherever you're tuning in from today, take a moment to just, just pause. Hit the pause button. Slow down your mind for a moment. Invite the Lord into your presence. Wherever you're tuning in from, thank you. Thank you. Come on in and ask him to just meet you where you're at. And let's just pray together. Heavenly Father, I praise you. I bless you. And I thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to be here together, to share a word of encouragement, and for the opportunity for replay. Heavenly Father, as we open your word and listen, read it and or listen to it today, Lord, may it be a teachable moment, a moment where this word will hover on our hearts and we share it with those that we meet. In Jesus' name, amen. So I never like to start my broadcast without saying what I'm grateful for. So, so many things to be grateful for. Um, have the week off, so definitely grateful for that. Just looking for an opportunity to recharge from this long uh, 2020 and a year that brought a lot of opportunity for learning, a lot of tests and tri tribulations, but a time to grow with the Lord and closer to the Lord and so many ways to meet the Lord uh, that we never thought of before. This all explosive way to get on all this technology and share a word with one another when we, when we can't be with one another, we still can share the word of the Lord. So very grateful for that today. I had morning prayer it was day four of celebrating the 12 days of Christmas. So very uh, grateful to be a part of that. Also went for an early morning walk. Did not get in my entire time that I normally walk, but it's okay. I got home safe. The roads were extremely, extremely icy, and that's why I had a shorter walk than normal, but was grateful to get back home because once I got away from the house, it was pretty slick out there, but grateful that I got the opportunity to get out there. And I did see a few people trying to get through it, but uh, with wise choice, uh, all those who were out were turning around and headed back for home. So grateful that I made it back home safe and prayed that all those who were out there trying to do the same were able to as well. So Heavenly Father, today, uh, beloved brothers and sisters, we are reading from Jesus always. Wanted to wrap up the year, uh, finishing up the last couple of devotionals that we have here. And it's entitled, How Priceless Is My Unfailing Love? It's a reflection of 2 uh, Corinthians chapters 4 and 7. How priceless is my unfailing love. This is truly a gift of heavenly proportions. Remember the unspeakable price I paid to secure this gift for you. I endured torture, humiliation, and death. My willingness to suffer so much for you demonstrates how extravagantly I love you. I want you to comprehend how astonishingly rich you are in me. I have given you the priceless treasure of my eternal love. This gift makes you far wealthier than a multi-billionaire, even if you own very little of this world's goods. So stand tall as you journey through your life, knowing that this glorious inner treasure is your portion each step of the way. Rejoice that my love is both priceless and unfailing. You can always count on it because it's even more reliable than the rising of the sun. Let my unfailing love fill you with exorbitant energy as you walk along the path of life with me. So again, beloved brothers and sisters, this is a reflection of 2 Corinthians Chapter 4, verse 7. Let me grab my Bible here in front of me. In chapter 4, 2 Corinthians is entitled, Treasure in Fragile Clay Jars. Treasure in Fragile Clay Jars. Let's look at chapter of verse 7. We know having this light shining in our hearts, but... We ourselves are like flat, fragile clay jars containing this great treasure. This makes it clear that our great power is from God and not from others. So what this passage is sharing with us today is 
the supremely, the supremely valuable message of salvation of Jesus Christ has been entrusted to us, beloved brothers and sisters, by God. He is calling us fragile and infallible human beings. Paul focuses, however, is not on the perishable container. No, it is not, beloved brothers and sisters. It is its priceless content. God's power dwelling in us. God's power dwelling in us. That is what Paul is focusing in on. Though we are shown here to be fragile clay pots, God uses us to spread his word, his news, his good news, and gives us power to do his work. So I invite you, beloved brothers and sisters, a simple act of love that you can do to spread God's word is to simply share the broadcast of words of encouragement that you come across. Share it on your timeline. You just don't know whose life you are impacting in a positive way by doing that. There are so many people that are facing disparity right now because all the different conditions and things that they've been through this year. So I encourage you to do a simple act of love and to share this broadcast on your timeline. Encourage people to view the light that you are seeing and be a light for someone else as well. Take this teaching and what you learn and inspire others by God's word. Open the good word today and spend time with the Lord. I spend about an hour and a half a day in the mornings and then about 30 minutes in the evening before I go to bed just learning the word of the Lord so that I can share it with all that I come across. Beloved brothers and sisters, remember relying on God's power, not our own, will keep us, will keep us from pride and motivate us to stay close to him. Who is our power source? I don't know about you, but on the days that I've had this year and still more to come, I'm sure throughout my lifetime, just because we follow God does not mean that we are not going to be faced with some opportunities, some challenges, some tribulations, but it's how we respond to those that makes a difference. Let people want to understand why is that person unshakable? Why is that individual unshakable? What makes their foundation so strong? What anchors that person for you, my beloved brothers and sisters? It is God. And as I go through challenges, I want to be asked, what, why is your light still shining when you go through different challenges in life? It's simply because I anchor myself on God. God is my anchor. He is my tower. He is my source of power and nothing else, beloved brothers and sisters, nothing else but God. Let all that see us, that meet us, want to get to know God just because of how we show, how we handle our trials and our tribulations, because we use and we spend our time with the Lord and letting him guide us through those tough times. This year's been tough for so many. I can't imagine anyone that hasn't had a tough year this year. We've all been tested in different areas of our, of our lives. And beloved brothers and sisters, let's wrap up 2020 strong in the Lord. And today I give you the opportunity that I give you every time I broadcast a word of encouragement. And that is, if you've never known Jesus as your Lord and Savior, well, today's your opportunity to. All you have to do is repeat after me. And oh, by the way, if you've backslided in any, you know, throughout this year, or you've you've it's you've been away from your from your faith from God for some time, that's okay. This message was intended for you as well. And all you have to do is simply. I extend my hand out to you virtually and all you have to do to accept the gift of life, the gift of eternal salvation, eternal life is simply repeat after me. Gracious God, I am a sinner. Please forgive me for my sins. I believe Jesus died for me and by his blood, I am forgiven. 
I ask you to remember, to, I ask you to remember my sins no more. I ask you, Jesus, to live inside of me. Give me a new heart. Come into my life. I make you my Lord and Savior. Amen. I want to thank you if you prayed that prayer of salvation with me. And if you're not sure what to do as a new believer, I invite you to leave me a direct message down below or send me a DM. I also always get encouraged by your comments. So please leave me your comments in the comments section and tell me what you're grateful for today as well. Until tomorrow, be blessed. Bye now.